Is Blizzard the Pixar of the gaming world? It would certainly seem so. And believe me, I'm not the first person to make this connection. In fact, six years ago, Luke Plunkett wrote an article for Kotaku entitled, Blizzard is the Pixar of the gaming world. Done, bro. No more explanation needed. We don't even need to continue with the blog or anything like that because Lukey P over there already laid it down for us six years ago on Kotaku, okay? But why is Blizzard the Pixar of the gaming world? If you're like me, you totally remember the reveal trailer of Overwatch. The hype was real and the whole thing was very reminiscent of a Pixar animated short. Some people even thought that Pixar made the animated short for Blizzard. My first reaction to the trailer was, oh please lord let this come out for console, please. Now, I know what you dudes are thinking, PCs and Master Race. <laughs> I only use the computer to check my email and the Facebook. Jeremy, me! Do they deliver email on Sunday? We'll save that discussion for another video, okay? We are all one within the iris. Every animated short that Blizzard has released for Overwatch has been absolutely amazing. The animation is incredible, the storytelling is compelling and impactful. AKA, it gives you the feels, bro, you know? And with the current state of gaming being so heavily focused on multiplayer and Overwatch being a multiplayer centric game, it's nice to have some interesting and quality lore surrounding the characters that Blizzard has created. You see, it's not just the animation that makes Pixar movies amazing. It's everything involved from the character design and development to the worlds that they create and breathe life into. Pixar's Andrew Payton mentioned in an interview with GI Biz Blizzard and Pixar almost seem like mirror images of one another. The same sort of philosophy, the same sort of work ethic, the same attention to detail. They're basically the biggest company in the games industry, and we're the biggest company in the 3D film industry. It's interesting talking to them because we always come across the same sort of problems and it just comes down to the philosophy of what you're trying to do. Their philosophy has always been trying to make the greatest game that they can make. And for Pixar, it's about trying to make the greatest film we can make. And it's as simple as that. The reason is quality. It's not about pumping out a new game every year. I'm not gonna mention any names or anything because that wouldn't be cool. Just as Pixar has set the bar for quality animation, and memorable and dynamic storytelling, Blizzard has set the bar for what we should expect from video games and the lore that surrounds them. Blizzard even had the foresight to establish Pixar-like processes back when it was still developing Overwatch when it was called Project Titan. An article written in 2011 by the International Business Times mentioned that Blizzard was contemplating its own Pixar-like university to help establish talent, animation, and a level of unmatched quality while they worked on Titan. Okay, Captain Obvious, we get it. Blizzard and Pixar are butt buddies, just like Jeremy and his little friend Mitch. Pixar proves that while beautiful animation is important, the story and emotion that characters and worlds can elicit is the important factor in longevity and memorability. Blizzard realizes this and it's reflected in their lore, their character design, and their animation. They also prove that you can have an interesting story and lore surrounding a multiplayer-centric game like Overwatch without having a traditional campaign or story mode. Now it's time for everybody's favorite recap, Irma's Crapometer. How much of a crap should you really give about today's episode? Today's episode plops in at four out of five crits. Listen, setting the bar above mediocrity should always be praised. I mean, F and Jeremy couldn't touch the bar of mediocrity with a 10 foot pole. In other words, clean the cat box, Jeremy, it stinks in here. That does it for today's episode, dudes. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to show your support and hit that like button. With the amazing lore surrounding Overwatch and the awesome animated shorts, would you like to see a full length Overwatch movie? If not, what video game movie would you like to see turned into a feature length film? Let me know in the comments section. Personally, I'm still waiting for a proper Halo movie. Right, am I the only one? Maybe, doesn't matter, I wanna see it. Let's do it. Uh, give me the number to the people who make movies tell them what to do. All right, until next time, dudes, peace out, what to do.